Lots of them out here. What I'm doing here is uh, starting a new seed starting method or trying one out. Since I'm going to be growing it hydroponically, I need to figure out a, a way to reuse things without having to keep buying. So, because I'm frugal that way. So, I'm going to fill these with perlite and put a wick in it, and I'll show you what I'm doing and why. This is a rayon wick. If you look at my previous uh, videos a couple years ago, or maybe it was last year anyway, um, I used these to wick water. And so I'm going to take one of these strands, it's a rayon mop head. Wait for the 130 to pass. C130. Used to work on those. Anyway, I'm going to take one of these and cut it in half, and I'm going to run it into the pot here. Okay, here are the nine seed starting pots. They're neck cups with rayon wicks from Walmart. Bought the mop head from Walmart. It's 100% rayon. And um, you disassemble the mop head and you get hundreds of strings, and then if you cut it in half, it's a really cheap resource. I think the mop head was about four dollars. And the rayon doesn't deteriorate very well. And one of the things I noticed when I was using uh, the wicking system is that roots followed the, the rayon um, mop strings. And of course that makes sense. They're going to follow the water source. So let me show you what I thought of and we'll see if this works. We'll try it out. Here's the perlite filled in. I left one undone so I could show you. And I pulled the string through. The rayon string, mop head string. And now I take it over to my wash perlite. Doing this with two with one hand, so it's kind of difficult. Hold this like this, just kind of dip it in. Pull the string to the center and kind of wrap it. And what you're making is a little cradle for the seed, and water will wick up through that, and it'll wick into the perlite and provide the seed with the moisture. That's my thought anyway. All the seeds are in there. They're cradled in. I've got here our chocolate stripes tomato. Two of them. You can see they're nestled in the in the string there. I tried uh, some pak choy there. Some butter crunch lettuce. Some Bloomsdale long standing spinach, two of those. Some perpetual spinach, which is a actually a shard. And a Carmen pepper, which is an F1 hybrid from Johnny's Seeds. And all those are potential greenhouse seed, so, or greenhouse plants. So, I'm going to try all those. I'm going to cover them up and put a top on it see if they germinate. Later on, when it gets warmer, all I'll have to do is put this on the side of something, if it works, and just hang the string in any water source. And if you've seen my hybrid video, it'll work out perfectly. And then I can just start them and just have them set and ready for the next, next round of uh, grow. Anyway, that's it for now. Here we are in the seed starting room, which is my spare bedroom actually. And I have put them in there. There's nine of them of various seed. And added some water. And those rayon wicks will pull the water up and to the seed and make contact with the seed. And hopefully germinate. We'll see. 
It's an update on my grow using perlite starter for plants. It looks like everything come up except for the spinach bloomsdale long standing. And um, as you can see, I've got some green in there that is probably due to algae. It may be the nutrients, but I'll check into that. And there's a way to remedy that also. So this is an update. These are my trial tomatoes. I've set them in the garage. And you can see there that there is not, there's a little bit of discoloration, but not nearly like the ones in the house. And they've been sitting without a whole lot of air circulation here, but these are all my plants waiting to go into the garden. It's a lot, isn't it?